Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Go cool and be cool. Big data Hadoop examination tips and tricks. So we are going to see such a beautiful course, trending course. So those who are all in the background of data analytics, data scientist, data specialist, database for all handling and then Python specialist. So big data Hadoop is a very beautiful course. So we are going to see step by step like you know how we are going to proceed for the examination. So and then uh, graphical representations of all those our analysis. Are you ready? Yeah, welcome back. So big data Hadoop. So we are going to see the step by step process of examination tips and tricks. So basics. So we are going to learn about what is mean by big data. This is the course introduction, my dear friends. So first is what is big data. So big data refers to the extremely large database data sets. So there are complex and then grow exponentially with time. Traditional data processing software and then methods are insufficient because it is very difficult to handle. So those um, uh, the, that for example like you know massive databases or, or a lot of db so we have a uh, uh, data sets available so in that case it's very difficult to do the analysis so leading to the development of the new technologies and then techniques to process analyze and then extract the values of from this data system will get hang up first of all so big data is often characterized by the five v's so generally we can see when you go for this google or anywhere you are going to learn about the course and introductions everything so we have the five V's generally we talks about major five V's. So first one is the volume. So the sheer amount of data so often measured so in terabytes or petabytes. So varieties we have structured so then unstructured semi-structured also we have such as text images, video, social media, post and then sensor data. So velocity is the speed at which data is generated and processed. So the real time application data must be handled very quickly. So then veracity is we have like you know this uncertainty or the trustworthiness of the data so not all data is accurate or clean so then value also we have the potential insights and benefits that can be extracted so from the data okay so this is the five v's we have so in this uh, picture we can able to see that what is the data volume it talks about in the right side that is a mb then it uh, then it moves to the gb that is gigabytes terabytes and then petabytes so in the top left so we can see the data velocity so start from the batch then periodic and then near real time and then real time so we have so in the left to bottom so we have a database it talks about from the table so then database and then photo web audio so so many kind of uh, varieties as we can able to catch up so this is how the v's talks about generally but Additional 5 Vs also we have. So we have already seen in the left hand side there is a volume, size of data, velocity, the speed at which data is generated, variety, so different types of data and then veracity is uh, data accuracy, value useful data. So in the right side also we have such a beautiful things as like first one is a validity. The 6 Vs talks about validity data quality governance uh, then most data uh, management on massive so then variability so we have a dynamic so evolving behavior in data science a venue so where you are locating the data first of all so distributed the heterogeneous as data so from the multiple platform so then the vocabulary so we have a data model so semantics so that describes the data structure and then uh, ignorances, uh, confusions uh, over meaning of big data and then tools used. So this is the 10 uh, V's we have so in the big data. So now what are the types we have in the big data? What are the types? The big data can be characterized in three, in three main types. Uh, so based on their structure and then complexity. So generally uh, in any analysis, we can see the structured data, unstructured data and then semi-structured data. So we can see the examples also structured data which talks about this type of data is organized in the predefined format such as the rows columns in the database tables so examples include customers data financial transaction and then sensor reading so typically we can see it's excel data like pivot table uh, normal data like we have a uh, uh, name and then uh, age uh, so which um, you know data bad something like that so this is where we have the structured data is available structured data is very easy to do the analysis also Yes, of course, we have unstructured data. So this type, this data is not organized in a predefined format. So it is not a predefined format, but it is also a unstructured data, isn't it? So can be difficult to process. Example include test documents, images, videos, and social media posts. Example, we can say like, you know, um, 
um, for example um, we can say uh, coding is also one of the main areas as we can see so because we have uh, greater than symbol right uh, uh, then less than symbols available so inside we have a lot of comments as are there so people are um, uh, giving the notes of each and everything says so that also one of the main areas as we can see so most of the areas you know coding is also will bring such a kind of you know documentation mail addressing so those kind of is also it's covered like anything so unstructured that is semi structured unstructured is like you know mail content what we are uh, uh, giving text content so what we can able to see because it is totally difficult to understand about what is they are going to talk about and semi so now we are going to talk about semi structured so this data falls but in the structure and then unstructured data so having some elements of structured so but not uh, being fully organized examples is include xml and json files also this is what we are talking about this is a coding so this is how it looks like so structured data unstructured data semi structured data and now so we have another three types of data so types of big data so we have seen that structured data unstructured data and then semi structured data so we have geospatial data so machine or operational logging data so open source data is also there well let's see one by one so how it looks like so structured data so majorly in uh, most of the uh, analytics like those who are in the database management uh, then uh, data engineering so analytics uh, scientist specialist so those for all being handled in these three major categories so structured data so example is customer data financial transaction sensor reading characteristics is mainly organized in the predefined format example tables database everything so how it is being processed so now relatively easy to process and then analyze using traditional data analysis tool so examples what we can see as i told you that spreadsheet that is excel sheet with rows and columns so customer information sales records a lot of things as we have sequences query languages sql databases sensor data with the different variables example temperature pressure so we have everything uh, but actually this is very easy to understand also whereas the structured data is concerned any tool you can able to see that excel data like we have a structure row columns beautiful things are available even we can compare without doing the graphical analysis also it is very easy to understand the structure data so once you have a bar graph or maybe any graph so then it will give the representations of how it incremental or decremental so you can able to understand a lot of things then what is all the characteristics we have organized in tables so data is stored in tables with rows and columns so easily reachable uh, easy data point has the uh, uh, specific places then highly manageable so and then what we can say like um, highly manageable so can be easily processed using traditional data analytics tools example sql queries and everything okay now we are talking about unstructured data example text documents images videos social media posts etc so characteristics no predefined format so we have lot of format lot of decision lot of uh, rows columns and then it is not a space we have so many kind of things and so many challenges also we have no predefined format so challenging to process so processing is uh, requires a specialized techniques and tools to extract meaningful information so examples what we can say here is emails generally so social media post example twitter facebook and so many kind of things also we have audio and video files like example uh, podcast youtube videos as documents as etc so word file pdf also we can say so pdf generally books we have so that those are all kind it's also called as unstructured data because we don't know what is the next step next step we don't know so some paragraph will come some paragraph may not come so so, so many kind of things as we have so then website content images from cameras or maybe medical imaging characteristics lacks a clear structure that is the data does not follow any tabular format at all difficult to search and analyze us the course are wants to techniques like um nll nlp is also one of the main thing and then machine learning is also one of the areas so we need to catch up the data as exactly growing in volume the majority of the data generated today around 80 90 percent is unstructured only here because we don't know like people are very much interested to capture so all this kind of structured data but unstructured data is also complications we have to capture all those kind of things now semi-structured data so examples as we can see xml json files so 
it is also another main area contains some elements of structured but not fully organized so what is the processing requires techniques that can handle both structured and unstructured data examples so json file javascript object notations so or xml files as log files as etc server logs as example email subject lines and sender receiver information is so structured so but the body text is unstructured yes so it is a predefined for from to cc or bcc so for all available in the um, organization like we can catch up all the data so once it is uh, stored so that is also one of the main areas so no sql database like mongodb which store data in flexible uh, uh, document based formats so html so or web page data so with embedded tags so what are all the characters we have so partially that is unstructured that is contains like you know uh, tags meta data or contributors uh, that allows for easier organization flexible unlike traditional uh, sorry uh, relational database semi structured data does not have to adhere to the predefined structure so easier to analyze is while not as simple as structured data semi structured data so can be parsed and analyzed using specific algorithms as on data processing tool so three databases so it is very very important to understand about all those kind of things so this is the example my dear friends so now you can see so in the picture like unstructured data is the university has 5600 students so john id number is 1 So he is 18 years old, and so 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 many blah blah things as are available. So generally, in mail, books, all those kind of things, is because we don't see a structured manner of a flow. What about semi-structured data? It is like a programming, like we have a greater than symbol, more than symbol, then apostrophe. We have if and so many kind of things, but it is somewhat uh, structured. We can say, but it is also not structured. It is very difficult to understand. Some areas, okay, we can predict some uh, something, but the structured data is chanceless, very beautiful, and then we can understand very simply. Okay, now moving to the summary of the types of big data. So, what is mainly we have learned from this structured data is highly organized, easily uh, searchable, and then stored in database with a defined uh, schema, SQL database, and then spreadsheet. Unstructured data. so is um, un unorganized so difficult uh, to process uh, and include formats uh, like text uh, so images and videos so example social media content everything semi structured is partially organized with some types and then this is the natural of the learning so where we could able to find out the summary and types of data so each types of big data requires different tools and approaches for processing and then analysis so making the field of big data diverse and complex now moving to the purpose behind what is the beautiful the purpose of big data the primary purpose of the big data is to gain valuable insights that can improve decision making increase uh, operational efficiency and then create the competitive advantage so uh, by analyzing the large large sets we have organization can can uncover pa- patterns um, patterns trends so and then uh, correlations is that would be impossible just to detect with smaller data sets or uh, traditional analysis techniques excel sheet is very difficult my dear friends it will get hang so the system won't work so we have upgradations of other next uh, level is the big data so what is the enables we have so better decision making by analyzing past and then real time data organization so can make informed decisions predictive analytics we have so companies can forecast the future outcomes is based on historical data analysis automation big data analysis supports machine learning algorithms that enables uh, automations of various tasks personalization customer experiences can be cast, uh, customized is based on data driven insights so and then why use big data instead of traditional data analysis so what is the purpose we use real time processing is one of the main areas because big data technologies can process data at the speed it is being generated that is a velocity how it takes the analysis immediately after we program so what we supposed to do in this first of all allowing for real time analytics so which traditional systems cannot support advanced insights point number 2 so big data tools employ advanced analytics like machine learning artificial intelligence and then deep learning to derive insights from diverse and complex data sets so which would be difficult or impossible using our traditional data processing methods so one of the main areas is 
so for why use big data instead of traditional data analysis the next one is scale generally what happen in most of the areas is to bring the real time analysis people are taking very micro level data so what happen automatically the size of the data will increase so scale traditional data analysis tools are designed to handle structured data and then small volumes big data however deals with the massive data sets that requires distributed computing and advanced storage solutions like hadoop spark and the no sql database now we have the fourth point is complexity traditional method focus on structured data so from a few sources examples say really a relational database big data integrates structured semi structured and unstructured data from multiple sources social media sensor logs images only program does so what i supposed to do to catch up even it is a structured data semi structured data as well as the unstructured data which need a different handling also now my dear friends let's see that you know applications of big data analysis so where these big data is really useful so hadoop uh, hadoop is the main uh, programming uh, big data of uh, to uh, capture all those kind of analysis and everything so an open source framework that allows the distributed processing of large data sets across clusters of computers hadoop is the main one like you know uh, capturing of uh, uh, we have the big data analysis and everything so one of the main areas we can say it's hadoop second applications we can say is the spark the unified analytics engines so for the big data processing so known for its speed and then easy of use of for large scale data processing but third point what we can talk about is no sql database example mango db then cassandra used to store and manage large volume of unstructured data so these database do not rely on fixed schemes like traditional sql database and everything what about fourth we have the machine learning and then ai big data can be used to train machine learning tools uh, models as that can predict trends classify data or uh, automate decision making also data visualization tool that is one of the main area like most of the areas as we could see like you know generally we can do in excel also nowadays a lot of uh, programming sort there then formulas is there we can bring the uh, graphical representations of the dashboards but data visualization is nowadays we have a popular of tableau and then uh, a power bi is also there so these tool help in visualizing large data sets in a way that makes insights easier to understand and then act upon then stream processing example apache kafka so allows for real time data processing as data streams us in uh, from sensors or logs or the transaction so these are all the areas as we have so where we can use this data examples is big data so it is useful for the healthcare we can take a lot of insights and then we can understand about your health especially like based on the analysis of the data so in the last uh, couple of months as like you know blood test and then our um, overall health details and everything so we can predict like what may be the uh, background of your body is running behind so finance so we have a lot of areas as to capture uh, present trending so what is the ebitda so and then uh, balance sheet so many kind of things as and then accordingly we can predict uh, retail marketing is also another important area inventory management how many how many uh, uh, you know stocks we have and then the next one is education education is a main area like big data is being used to like uh, how many people are very much interested in what all the areas as we have uh, what the course they have taken how many subscription for example i am launching any a uh, new courses so how many people are very much interested i am capturing of what is the age everything so youtube is the perfect examples of this big data because youtube is doing the end to end very beautiful and the micro level analysis to capture all those kind of analysis so that we will be uh, very much keen about like what i supposed to do in this especially agriculture is one of the main area and then entertainment is also another main area so we are going to see this entertainment examples sir. so please uh, 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 fasten your seat belt and then we are going to see one of the beautiful examples of entertainment so how uh, you know star rating as well as the uh, experiences of the customers like uh, for the movie is being released so what is their feelings and then how are the feelings converted into the database and then how the analysis supposed to be and then how it is predicted to showcase the next film 
now why big data is used in healthcare so what we have seen before is the a uh, glimpse of the uh, usage of the big data let's see in depth like you know healthcare is big data is used to process a large volume of patients records what i told you uh, then genomic and then medical imaging so predictive analysis in healthcare can help in uh, early diagnosis uh personalized treatment plans as and then outbreak prediction so here during the covid-19 pandemic so most of the people utilized this big data concept finance is power fraud detection algorithm risk assessment models and then personalized finished financial services it helps so financial institution analyze the real time transaction to detect suspicious activities Re- retail so big data enables retailer to optimize inventory management credit consumer preferences and offer personalized marketing companies is like amazon and then walmart and then big data to manage logistics and the enhance customer experience marketing and advertisement so marketers use big data to analyze customer behavior and then uh, across pla- uh, platforms so enable them to create targeted campaign so improve roi return of investment and then track customers sentiment through social media and then online transaction so government and then um, um, smart cities the government use big data for traffic management crime prevention and uh, efficient use of resources in cities for example sensor data in smart cities helps uh, optimize energy consumption and reduce traffic congestions manufacturing sensors and then iot i i what is also there industrial internet of things device in fact is generate large amount of data so that can be analyzed to use uh, based on for this predictive maintenance process optimization and then quality control entertainment media the streaming structure uh, services like netflix and then spotify so use big data to recommend content so based on user preference and behavior so those who are using the netflix maybe amazon prime so what about the Uh, streaming videos as so once you start playing first video second video third video so based on your interest ai will read then it will recommend you so these are all the areas as like you are very much interested to see so that is also one of the big data so now the benefits what is the big data benefits so deeper insights by analyzing large and variety uh, varied data sets as organizations uh, can identify patterns that were pre- pre- previously hidden this leads to better forecasting risk management and then strategic planning so cost efficiency because so though the um, uh, initial infrastructure setup for big data processing can be costly so over time it leads to the sufficient uh, sorry significant cost saving so because we have to set up the server to catch up the data because the data server is one of the main areas because we can do a lot of analysis so a lot of tools also available but the data base we supposed to have in a very wide manner so that we can take the data one seconds data maybe uh, five seconds data 0.5 seconds data so so many kind of things as we can capture so accordingly we can proceed for the analysis and everything automations and then better uh, decision making so reduce operational uh, in- inefficiency and improve resource allocations improved decision making is real time data analytics means so that decisions can be made so based on the most so current informations available reducing the guesswork and the reliance on outdated data so now the fourth one is innovation so big data analysis often leads to the discoveries of new business opportunities as products and then markets for example analyzing customer data so can lead to the personalized product offering that increases customer satisfaction on the loyalty risk management like uh, big data so can identify so risk so more accurately for example says in finance it is used to detect fraud in real time so while in health care it helps manage patient's care and then predict potential health uh, crisis also so personalization so businesses can personalize services and products so based on individuals consumer preferences this can lead to better consumer uh, cons- customer experiences and higher uh, engagement rates also so now let's see the what the nutshell what is we have learned before entering to the main course so first we have to learn what is the course introduction to the nutshells of big data 
so definition so big data refers to large and then complex data data sets that requires advanced tools for analysis so what is the purpose we have to extract valuable insights that improve decision making predict trends and then optimize operations comparisons to traditional analysis big data tools handle more volumes variety and then uh, velocity so providing the real time analysis and then deeper insights so uh, then then that is a traditional methods so, application tools like hadoop spark machine learning algorithms and then visualization tools are used to analyze data across industries like healthcare finance retail and then manufacturing entertainment also benefits improved decision making cost efficiency risk management innovations and personalized service so those who are new to my channel so welcome to my channel please take the course introduction so before jumping into the uh, course programming so it will be help you like first we have to understand what is mean by big data and then what is the purpose and everything so then we will switch over to the course introductions so finally let's learn and level up ourselves and let us help and support others so without pain there is no gain i hope you like this video so please give your valuable comments so that i can also level up myself so and share it to your beloved ones so thank you very much and thanks for watching